forced vaccinations. For the government to force you to be vaccinated, and it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. It's gotten uh, just in my lifetime. Look what's happened in the vaccine uh, protocols and, 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 and regulations and everything. And uh, what I'm going to do, uh, because I hadn't even, you know, I thought about people who, who were going to be interested in Treaty of Peace 2020, certainly Christians, uh, certainly people who understand and feel a responsibility the government do the right thing. Okay, but I hadn't actually thought about uh, a, a large group of society that are anti-force vaccinations, and they may not even be anti-vaccine. It's just they're anti-force, and maybe they feel it should be done in a different way, or that there are certain vaccines you shouldn't be taking. Okay, again, it comes comes back to free will. Well, I want to show you a little video. Welcome back. If you have children, you're probably aware of the new vaccination requirements for students in West Virginia. And you may have made a special appointment this year to make sure your child was eligible to attend school. But a 17-year-old in Randolph County never got those vaccinations on purpose. And now she is not allowed in school. Jamie Stover's in the newsroom. She has more. Olivia Hudock should be walking to pomp and circumstance this spring. But that may not happen. I have religious convictions and also medical reasons as to why, you know, I would not like to get these required vaccines. And that decision is keeping her out of the classroom, at least for now. The Randolph Elkins Health Department denied Hudock's request for exemption and ordered that she be refused admission to Randolph County Schools. The school told us it is currently working with both the family and the health department. Her father is a teacher at the Pickens School and, like Olivia, values every minute spent in the classroom. And those minutes out of the classroom are turning into days, even weeks. The county health department uh, ordered her to be excluded from school. So she's been out of school. This will be uh, about a week and a half now. But Olivia says she's in it for the long haul. I will, I will not give in. There's no compromise. For now, her work is sent home with her father, and she's taking classes at Davis and Elkins College. But being out of school isn't easy for this honors student. It's just really sad. I've been with, you, with you, the same students since I was in third grade. And to be able, I mean, I left school that Friday thinking, wow, am I, you know, am I ever going to see them again? She's doing the best she can, but it's stressful. It's stressful on the family, and, you know, her friends are worried about her. And, uh, she's a strong girl, but, you know, she's 17 years old. She's uh, still a, a young lady. The Hudocks have filed a motion for a temporary restraining order to follow it back to school. No word on when or if that will be granted. To hear more from Olivia, visit us online at WBOY.com. I've posted more of her interview there on our website, again, WBOY.com. And if you'd like to join the conversation, what you think the school should do or Olivia should do, visit us online on Facebook as well. For 12 News, I'm Jamie Stover. Dana. Starting this year, all 7th and 12th graders in the state are required to get booster shots of the Tdap and MCV4 immunizations. Those vaccines protect against tetanus, dith diphtheria, pertussis, and meningitis. But for one student in Randolph County, that's a problem. Senior Olivia Hudock claims she should be exempt from these shots for religious reasons, but the state doesn't recognize that excuse. And now, the matter is headed to court. Lindsay Burnworth talked with Olivia and school officials today. Lindsay, what are both sides saying? Nate, the Hudock family doesn't believe in getting vaccines. But school officials had to remove Olivia from the Pickens school a few weeks ago because of health department requirements. But on Friday, this may all be solved because that's when a judge will hear this case. For 17-year-old Olivia Hudock, this school year was the one she had been looking forward to since she was a little girl. She was on track to be valedictorian of her class at the Pickens School and then graduate with her fellow seniors before heading to college. But now that's all changed. Olivia refused to get booster shots of the Tdap and MCV4 vaccinations, a new requirement for 7th and 12th graders in the state. The result? She's now not allowed on school property. Oh, it's it's awful. I mean. 
Like, I've been going to the Pickens school from fourth grade. I mean, yeah, I'm in my senior year, and now they're saying you can't go back to school unless you do this. Olivia asked to get a religious exemption from these immunizations. The problem, West Virginia is one of only two states that doesn't accept that exemption. And now Olivia and her father are ready to fight for their rights. And I believe it's important for the children, many children around the state are out of school, uh, some of them being treated a lot worse. Than Olivia. These immunization requirements are issued by the Department of Health and Human Resources. As a result, county schools must enforce the rules if a student doesn't get the shots. In this case, there wasn't a medical exemption issued. There was one requested. It was denied by the local health officer, Dr. Mary Boyd, and she sent a letter uh, to both the Huddocks with a copy to us excluding her from school. Now Olivia still isn't allowed to pass through these doors at Pickens School, but the case will go before a judge on Friday. But no matter the outcome, Olivia told us she won't budge in her beliefs. I can't just, you know, avoid that and say, okay, well, I want to finish my senior year. I'm going to go back to school, you know. That's not what it is. It's a religious conviction and I refuse to give in. I can't give in. So, Lindsay, this seems like an issue that everybody would have an opinion on. What do folks in the Randolph County area have to say about this today? You know, some folks told me that they do understand why these vaccinations are needed. But on the other hand, some people told me that they think Olivia should be allowed to return to school because, after all, it's her senior year. I think we should accept all religious exemptions, but unless it is a public safety issue. But this, I do not believe this is a public safety issue, especially since she's already had immunization shots once before. Starting this year, all 7th and 12th graders were required to get booster shots of the Tdap and MCV4 vaccines. But that's caused some problems for several students, including one teen in Randolph County. Today, her case went to court. Lindsay Burnworth was at that hearing. Lindsay, what did the judge decide? Nate, the teen that's suing still isn't allowed back in school. But the case wasn't dismissed either. The judge also granted the Randolph County Board of Education's request to change the defendant of the case to the Department of Health and Human Resources. And there was one more key ruling today. We're going to have to wait until cases in Kanawha County are settled before a decision is made here. Instead of sending the case to the state's capital, where the DHHR is located, the judge put off the decision until that case is finished. That way, they'll have a precedent to go off of. We were also ordered not to give any of the names of the family who is suing the DHHR. The teen, whose initials are OH, is a senior at the Pickens School. OH claims that she has religious reasons to not get the vaccines and wants an exemption. But our state is one of only two that doesn't accept that excuse. I think it's certainly a victory uh, for us and for my client. Um, she, the judge, uh, certainly could have dismissed it. It's within her power to do that. Uh, but I think she recognized that there's a fundamental right to an education uh, and that the board must provide that education. Uh, and that's uh, what we were asking to begin with. All right, so Lindsay, the question here is what kind of schooling is this team going to get until this case is finished up? You know, Nate, the judge did order that the uh, Randolph County Schools must provide her with an alternate education until it's decided. The school will get together with her family and create a homebound schooling schedule. That'll keep her on track to graduate, but she's still not allowed back in school until this case is resolved. It's important to work with every family in Randolph County, and, and, and as I uh, pledge to, uh, to the family that we would do everything in order to keep her educational process moving. Uh, as fluidly as we possibly could under the circumstances until this is resolved in the courts. As always, we'll keep you updated with this case as it continues in court. For 5 News, I'm Lindsay Burnworth. For the past few months, we've been keeping tabs on an immunization battle in Randolph County. One high school senior is refusing to get required vaccines of the Tdap and MCV4 shots. That's because she claims she has religious reasons not to. Now, a few weeks ago, that hearing was put on hold in Randolph County until a decision was made in Kanawha County, but on Wednesday, that lawsuit was thrown out. Today, Lindsay Burnworth talked with the family that filed the suit. Lindsay, what did they have to say here? Nate Pickens School senior Olivia Hudock and her father Phil want to make their feelings known. The matter, the ma no matter what decision is made in any court, Olivia will not get the vaccines. 
Even though the lawsuit in Kanawha County was thrown out, the Hudocks won't give up their fight. In fact, Phil Hudock said they might file an appeal to the case. Their argument is that the Department of Health and Human Resources doesn't have the right required vaccinations without the legislator's approval. Not only that, they also hope to get religious exemptions approved throughout the state. Right now, our state is only one of only two that don't accept that excuse. So what they've done is uh, bypass the legislature, and that's not the intent of the founders. It's not the intent of uh, the people who wrote the West Virginia Constitution, and, and I think will prevail when, when this goes to the Supreme Court. It's disappointed that they didn't even hear the case, but I believe in the end it'll, it'll work out and they'll listen. And... No, I, I will never give in. I, I refuse to. But um, I'm still standing strong with it, and I'm not going to give in. <laughs> Well, Lindsay, we've heard from the Hudocks about the case, but there's two sides, of course, to every story. What are school officials saying? Yeah, I talked with the superintendent of Randolph County Schools today. He said that they're still providing Olivia with the homebound instruction, and they've also asked the judge in Randolph County to hear this case as soon as possible. A court case here earlier, whenever the judge heard the motions, and um, Judge Wilfong said we're going to hold this in abeyance until after the Kanawha County case. Uh, as of today, uh, we haven't heard anything from the judge. I know our attorney is um, asking the judge to convene the hearing and then hold the hearing here. And as always, as soon as there are any new developments in this case, we'll be sure to let you know. For 5 News, I'm Lindsay Burnworth. For the past few months, we've been keeping tabs on an immunization battle in Randolph County. Pickens School senior Olivia Hudock refused to get required Tdap and MCV4 vaccines. Today, the case was back in court, but if you were looking for a decision, you didn't get one. Lindsay Burnworth joins us now with the latest. Lindsay, what happened at today's hearing? Nate, today the Randolph County Board of Education was seeking a dismissal of the case, but the judge decided to again wait until decisions made in a Kanawha County appeal case before going forward here. If you don't remember, Hudock claimed she shouldn't get religious, she should get religious exemption and not have to get the vaccines. But our state is one of only two that doesn't accept that excuse. The case was heard in Randolph County a few weeks ago, but the judge wanted to wait until a decision was made in the state's capital. That original case in Kanawha County was thrown out, but an appeal has now been filed. That's why the judge decided to continue the case again today. That means Hudock can't go back to the Pickens School right now, but she'll at least continue on the homebound instruction until a decision is finally made. Uh, uh, we're going to wait for the decision on that, uh, whether that was uh, kosher or not. Okay, so uh, we're glad, we're, we're happy that Judge Wolfong ruled as she did, and uh, we believe that we're doing what's right. That in the end, uh, justice will prevail. And we're, we're, Cautiously optimistic. All right, so Lindsay, there's a bit of a difference between the case in Kanawha County and the one in Randolph County. Can you tell us about that? Well, Nate, they both deal with the vaccination issue, but the one in Kanawha County deals directly with the Department of Health and Human Resources. In that case, the plaintiff said the DHHR shouldn't be allowed to decide if students have to get the vaccines. In Randolph County, the case deals with the Board of Education itself. The Hudocks are challenging Olivia's right to an education. And even though they're different, the case in Kanawha County will still affect that decision up here. This continues. Welcome back. For the past few months, we've been keeping tabs on the status of a Randolph County high school senior who wasn't allowed in school because she refused to get her vaccinations. On Saturday, she'll be graduating with her class after a long year of courtroom battles. Lindsay Burnworth has been following this story since the very beginning. Lindsay, what's the latest with this case? Well, Nate, the decision in Randolph County was put off until a decision was made in the state Supreme Court, but that hasn't been made, so right now the law is still the same. However, this weekend, Olivia Hudock will graduate with her class at the Pickens School. Earlier in the school year, Hudock was told she would be arrested if she stepped onto school property. That's because she refused to get newly required vaccinations. Hudock claims she had religious beliefs that prevent her from getting the shots. But the problem is, our state doesn't accept that excuse. 
so Hudock wasn't allowed to step foot in the school. Late last year, a circuit court judge ruled that her education must continue even if it was on the homebound program. Olivia told us she's happy that she gets to graduate with her fellow seniors, but is even happier she stood up for what she believes in. Well, if anything, throughout the whole situation, I've, I've definitely grown stronger than I had been. And I just, it, it's not about whether you win or lose. It's about whether you're standing up for what you think is right, even if you're standing alone. You still need to do what is right. I was even allowed to attend her prom last weekend. Both her and her father said they'll continue fighting for what they think is right until the law is changed. For 5 News, I'm Lindsay Burnworth. A Randolph County student who fought a vaccine requirement will not only get her high school diploma tomorrow, but she'll graduate at the top of her class. Randolph County Schools and the Health Department refused to admit Olivia Hudak to Pickens School when she refused to get her required vaccinations for religious and medical reasons. Judge Jamie Wolfong ruled that she could take her classes at home and she'll graduate tomorrow. Hudak says she is thrilled to be finished. The graduation deal is definitely a success. I'm very excited for my graduation. I've, I mean, since I was really young, I pictured my graduation, and since I learned I was valedictorian, I even I jotted down some notes for you know my speech throughout the years, mm -hmm. and and I'm just really excited that I get to be in it with my classmate. Hudak says she plans to study biology and physical therapy at Davis and Elkins College. Yes, we will hopefully have support from friends and family and our faith. But we will also have opposition from those disagreeing with our decision. Therefore, we must be wise and strong enough to stand up for what we know is right. As founding father Alexander Hamilton once said, those who stand for nothing fall for anything. I find this quote to contain much truth. When I have feelings of discouragement, I remind myself of what this founding father said. Now, that was uh, about, what, five years ago? Six, maybe. Yeah, 2013, I think. Six years ago. Okay. And, you know, my daughter had learned uh, through our Bible studies and everything that, um, you know, she had convictions. And when you have a conviction, uh, it's not a preference. And so she actually had to sit out and not be with her classmates her almost her whole entire senior year. She was told if she came back to school after the second or third week, uh, with and not take a newly uh, mandated vaccine her senior year for MMR, uh, mumps, measles, mumps, rubella, uh, a booster her senior year uh, that she uh, you know she would be arrested for trespassing. Okay, she was told she'd be arrested, so uh, she felt convicted, and I told her it was her decision. I gave her the. Uh, the same option I have, um, you know, I'm, I'm a caretaker, I'm, you know, I'm, we're entrusted with children by God, okay, and God gives us free will, and, and when your children are old enough, you tell them, you know, it, now it's your free will, okay, because uh, we deem you to be uh, mature enough to, to decide, so, so I told her, I said, this is your decision, you know, um, and, and so, uh, you know, she she just she chose, and it was uh, quite a battle. And she she got to graduate with her peers. She was the only student in West Virginia that actually uh, refused forced vaccination and actually was still in public school. However, at home, even though her mother and I were teachers at the school, so we would leave to go to the school to teach where she was supposed to be, where she would be sitting here at this table uh, doing doing her work. You know, uh, because she was, she felt she could not take those vaccines for religious and uh, philosophical and medical reasons. And I really applaud her for that. Uh, she understands what Treaty of Peace is <laughs> because, you know, for me and, and I believe for them, although it's going to be their decision, everyone has to make a decision for themselves. Okay. If you are parents and you have you have minor children, okay, you can make the decision for them. 
but both parents have to opt in. Okay, it, it can't be one parent and then the children are automatically opted in. No, it has to be both parents, then the children are automatically opted in. If they're 18 or older, now it's their choice. You can't opt them in, okay? They make their own decisions. So I just wanted to, uh, to share that with you that uh, if you know people who have um, been involved in, in the battle against forced vaccinations, then you, you probably want to tell them about Treaty Peace 2020. And, and I plan to try to get the word out in, in that community of people because uh, it is not right for the government to inject you with something. Um, with, and, and think of this. They've given the vaccine companies immunity. So if you're harmed, you can't, and, and, and uh, you know, the CDC and, and there have been whistleblowers who have, who have been saying, uh, hey, our, co our pharmaceutical company uh, knew or did not properly test this, okay? And yet our government gives them immunity? Mm -mm. Bad. You know, so do you want your immunity? Do you want Treaty Peace 2020? And you decide if you want to be vaccinated or your children are going to be vaccinated. That's what it's all about, folks. Okay, I want to do it. show another video. In America, the people govern, the people rule, and the people are sovereign. I was elected not to take power, but to give power to the American people where it belongs.